Get your shoes on, my boys. Sterling. Where are you? Where are you? Come get your shoes on, boy. I see you. Sterling. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hot chocolate till you finish your food. Oh. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Watch out for that cow poop, kid. Today we got plans. We're doing a big old group run tomorrow at Tahuya, big pancake feed. But we ran into like a huge dilemma. On the announcement, I said, I'm bringing the Toyota Tacoma, I'm bringing the Can-Am X3 XRS, and I'm bringing my dirt bike. What I didn't realize was that my trailer, it's buried under our like 3,000 pound tiny home over there, and I'm not ready to take it off and put it where the tiny home needs to go. So I pretty much have no, real good options except for to go all the way to Oregon and buy a new trailer that's that's about all I can do really though that's a single axle trailer I don't love towing my side-by-sides on it and I've been wanting a dual axle trailer so this was just like the perfect scenario to like finally push me into doing it found a really good deal on uh, Facebook marketplace and we're gonna go check it out once we've set that up you cows hey they knocked over my wheels once we get that set up, then we'll get everything loaded to uh, to take the side-by-side -side over to Tahuya and do this big pancake feed. I'm really excited for it. There you are, big old beefcake. One of these days, I'm gonna have all my trailers have a universal ball size. This one that we're picking up today is a two and five sixteenths. Tim, what do you want, Tim? Sneaky Tim. The Chronicles of Sneaky Tim. So we just let our cows be in the yard now. Our field flooded, so I needed to be somewhere. Also, I plan on making a farm video soon. I just haven't wanted to. <laughs> great excuse. That's a great excuse. <laughs> but I'll make one before Christmas, I promise. Sure, there you will. and uh, don't mind me just having a horrible nosebleed ah. dude it is gorgeous out here do you see this <laughs> scenery it's really beautiful look at this look at all the water we are just fueling up and we'll go meet this dude the guy has like two like really cool really built Toyota Tacomas well yeah I think one's a Tundra but really built like off-road wheelers. And if I get the opportunity, I'm gonna ask him if I can show you guys the, the rigs, because they look super nice. But this trailer, I think it's custom built to, to, to haul uh, toys, which is why it's gonna be a perfect buy for us. Ugh. Man, I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. Yeah, I'm, I'm suffering. Uh, it's the dryness. That's what did it. As I've been thinking about getting this really cool flame job on my Raptor. You think that would look cool? There? Should have been purple and green. Purple and green flames. 90s, 90s, 90s flames. 80s. With like some chrome, some chrome accents. I like it. No, you would. Oh, well, hold up, hold up. I see some Toyotas. Alright, so this is the trailer that we're going to pick up today. I think that's going to do really nicely. So Desiree recently got in touch with uh, her long lost family members. And um, one of them happens to be uh, from this area. And when we were talking to him about our ideas to, to do a wedding venue and build a super dream shop, um, he was like, hey, you guys ought to swing by this auto museum, because I guess he had a hand in in either designing or building the auto museum, and he thinks that the building type, shape and size, would be perfect for what we described. 
and I looked it up online and it was like, whoa, like that, that's like the dream shop that we've been imagining. And it's just, it's not that far from our house. So we're gonna go take a look at it. I think it's way outside of our budget to build anything close to like this, but it's cool to like, it'll be cool to see like the top end of what we could what we could do. And then, then Des, Des can manifest it with her super manifesting skills. <laughs> and I will try as well. It's the secret. I just have to picture it. No, but really though, a lot of times if I see the thing that I want, it becomes more real to me and then I'm, it's a lot more likely for me to be able to go after it. So seeing like an example of the building that we want to build will help a ton. And whoa, there it is. Des, it's beautiful. Holy shit. That thing's huge. Oh, dang. I don't even think that could fit at our house. Damn, that's big. <laughs> that's pretty. That's so beautiful. Hey, that's kind of like that, um, I mean, the front half of it's kind of like that shop that you were showing me. Yeah. Um, they just put like wood accents on the front. So that's a lot like what I wanted with yeah. something like that with awnings. And then, I, I had no idea this was even here. That is way too big. <laughs> Ow. But the awnings make it seem a lot bigger. The awnings and the extra wood accents, but that's kind of like the steel shop that you were looking at. It is. It just looks really, really big. I wonder what the dimensions are. Oh yeah, there's like a whole nother thing here on the side, the little garage door there. Wow. That's yeah. huge. But it's got those little windows up top. It does. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. that'd be so cool. Yeah. All right, okay. Oh, that'd be so cool. I mean, that's an insanely expensive building. I don't think that would fit in our spot. No. Yeah, that was way bigger than I thought. I was hoping that was going to be similar to what we wanted to build, which was going to be... Um, I want to say the building I was looking at is... It's like 65 by 100. Which is big. It's a big, big, big building. Oh. But we're not doing it this year. I know, but tell them what you want next year. Next year, it's on my bucket list to go hunting for the first time ever in my whole life. And I'm gonna be 30 next year. And I think that'd be a great time to go on my first hunting trip. You hear that guys? I'm pretty sure that my wife was created in a lab. How many wives want to go hunting for their 30th birthday? She wants to go, you know what she said? She said, let's go to Texas and hunt boar. Or go to Alaska and shoot a moose. We did it. We made it. We got a trailer home, Des. Now, now I gotta start my day. Yeah, <laughs> got a tired. lot to do. You get that shoe off the roof. Yeah, that shoe's been on the roof for a while. We even had company over and there was a shoe on our roof. <laughs> I, was, I was throwing it from my car to the porch and I, I overestimated my strength. You greatly miscalculated. <laughs> Man, there's cow crap everywhere. Oh my gosh, this thing's heavy. This is a two and five sixteenths ball. It's a big old ball. The Tacoma's bumper is so high that I have to have a big old drop hitch on it. Otherwise, all the trailers would ride like crazy. And even with this super expensive drop hitch, all the way, like bottomed out, it's still gonna ride kinda high. <laughs> Motherfucker! Woo! This drop, it drops this far down, but the ball is still quite high. So I have this other one that I got specifically for the Tacoma. It drops it quite a bit further. So we're gonna replace this ball instead on this. I think this is like a 14 inch drop. This bumper is made by a company called CBI Off-Road Fab and they tucked a little hitch receiver way up high out of the way. Now it's super cool so that like when you're off-roading you're not gonna drag your uh, your hitch receivers like normally way down here on like a stock Tacoma. So they basically eliminated all that, cleans it all up, the bumper protects the rear and it brings that hitch way high up and hides it behind your license. But what I found is that it's still perfectly suited for towing. They don't list a tow rating because I don't think they have you know like the proper 
authority to list safe tow ratings, but I would be willing to bet it's the same, if not higher, than a normal stock Tacoma. So nice. That is going to work great. Very excited about that. So now we can take the Tacoma to Tahuya with the Polaris Razor and our dirt bike. We'll be able to fit it all and I don't have to get the tiny home off of my little trailer today. Once I get the tiny home off of that other trailer, I'll be able to sell it. It'll be for sale. Yeah. Ah, whew. That was a long trip just to get a little slightly different trailer, but a little bit longer. Double axle I think is going to be way better to go and I can pull it with the Tacoma. I think it'll be a good setup. I'm going to pull everything over to the pressure wash zone, pressure wash the shit out of it. I have this weird habit, like if I buy something new, I got to pressure wash it, especially for one, I don't understand people who sell something who, and they don't clean it up first, but like, I bet you it's going to shine up really nice. I'm going to rinse the Tacoma down, but not too good because we're going to go off-roading tomorrow and I'm going to get the Polaris ready to go. And then hopefully I'll have time to put new wheels and tires on the Polaris. But before I do that, that is so like not, that's so not important. I have to, have to, have to, have to have everything loaded and ready to go for tomorrow. So all the pancake feed stuff, everything's got to be loaded up. And then we can do the fun stuff. Tim! Ugh, finally, everything's shined up. That took forever, no joke, that took like an hour and a half. A uh, few takeaways. The Tacoma sucks to clean, everything sticks to it, it doesn't have any wax or any treatment or anything on it, it's just bare fiberglass, which looks like shit. It's like the more you clean it, the worse it looks. I think, I think I'm gonna spray it down with Raptor Liner. I, I, I know I had a whole bunch of people saying, don't do it, don't do it. I saw a rig today, it had Raptor Liner on it. It looked pretty cool and it looked good in pictures. I couldn't even tell it was Raptor Liner. It's something I could do myself and I think the result would be really cool. Although it does look so good, like when it's wet and shiny and smooth, it looks good. But the people that are coming tomorrow, you'll see in person. The truck just doesn't look, it doesn't look as good in person. It's had a long, tough life. <laughs> but the other takeaway, the razor was so easy to clean. It took like 15 minutes because I covered it down in SC1 and Pam. I think it was Pam. No, it was Lemon Pledge. The last time I cleaned it, I sprayed out uh, a bunch of SC1 on it and then I ran out of SC1 or SC11, whatever that shit's called, and I sprayed it down with Lemon Pledge and it was perfect because all the mud just slid right off it. It's still oily and shiny and it looks great. So now I'm gonna load it up onto my new trailer. The new trailer didn't come with ramps. You guys have seen this from me before. I don't like putting the ramps on. I wanna see, this one's lower. I wanna see the razor crawl up on this thing. I don't think it needs the ramps. I'm so pleased with that. So this is my longest side-by-side, -side. it's the four-seater, and I still have enough room right here to put a quad on the back. So if I ever get into quad riding and I wanna tow just one uh, one side-by-side -side and maybe a quad, I got room for that. Or we could fit two, maybe even three dirt bikes on here. Not to mention, you could always put a dirt bike in the bed of the truck. Well, actually, no. The one thing I don't like about this trailer is this little jack. Uh, because you can't you can't put the tailgate down without hitting the jack and that's kind of a bummer I like the ones that fold out of the way so you can still have this down and then you can still uh, tow something to the bed of the truck but I'm I'm pleased with it for the price I paid 1700 bucks not bad at all and uh, the the Tacoma just sits perfectly that has that expedition leaf spring in there which really helps a ton it has not Devers as uh, Dakar's in there and they, they seem to hold up really really well it all looks so good 
I'm gonna get the bike on the back and then I need to wash the bike still too. And then I need to get all of our pancake stuff in there and it's four o'clock. Mama's gonna want a, a shoulder rub here pretty soon. So I don't know if I'm gonna have time to put the wheels on the Polaris, but tons of time for that, you know? That can happen another day. It really doesn't need to happen today. Uh, at least we got our trailer and we're gonna have everything mounted up. But you know, I gotta take care of mama. Woo! Fits like a cloth. This is the shit dreams are made of. Woo wee! All right, it is dark outside, so I stopped filming, but uh, that's pretty much it for today. Tomorrow we'll head out to do the pancake feed and it's gonna be a good time. I hope that you guys are coming. You're not gonna see this until it's over, but it's gonna be a good time. Man, I worked all day loading this thing up, but we are going all in and this is something that I wanna do on like a regular basis. I would love to be able to like have, I don't know, what's a good name for this thing? Like meals on wheels, wheeling and mealing. Cakes and climbs, cakes and climbs, I don't know. What's a, we, gotta, we gotta come up with some good ideas. Drop ideas in the comment section.